This is a tutorial demonstrating how to link MIDI note velocity to the Flux CV outputs. First, we will create a simple single output from Flux Channel 1. We will use a step containing 8 triggers, and a step length of 8 sixteenths. To control the MIDI note velocity for this output we scroll to the MIDI config page and select an option from the velocity parameter. MIDI velocity ranges from 0, which normally translates to silence at the destination, to 127 which is normally the maximum amplitude. The velocity of the auxiliary 1 and 2 outputs can also be set from this page. To enable dynamic rhythms, we have many velocity modes that are linked to the flux CV outputs. The four CV outputs can send a voltage within the range of 0 to 8 volts. We can use various velocity modes to convert this range to a velocity value of between 0 and 127. If the CV is currently at 0 volts we have a MIDI velocity of 0. And at 8 volts we get a MIDI velocity of 127. We are currently using the free running LFO mode. We can adjust the attack and release response curvature to control the wave shape and create various dynamic sweeps. Let's switch to envelope mode. Envelope mode is currently synced to our 8 16th step length. Again we can use the response curvature parameter to create dynamics across the step length. We can use the minimum and maximum voltage parameters to set min and max limits on the output range. Now that we have selected a dynamic sweep for the step we can adjust density to decide how many triggers we would like to send. All parameters shown so far can be set for each step individually. Let's add a second step. With step 2 editing active, we can begin to select parameter values before activating the step. Let's select a density of 12, and a step length of 8 sixteenths. We will select inverted envelope mode for the second step CV output. Activate the second step by changing the last parameter to 2. Each step can have entirely unique rhythm synthesis and CV output parameters. We have looked at basics with LFO and envelope mode so far. Other CV modes include Volt. Volt allows you to select a single voltage for the step, so a single fixed velocity can be set in this mode with the max parameter. The max parameter is controllable by the internal LFOs, by CV inputs and by macro pods. Next we have random modes. A random voltage can be selected once per step in RANDES mode. A random voltage can be selected per generated trigger in RANDT mode. When using random modes it can be useful to select a min and max range to add subtle dynamics to your rhythm. So far we have listened to CV velocity mode.
Other CV-linked velocity modes include inverted CV, a selected percentage of the CV, an inverted percentage of the CV and and some fixed values that can be added to or subtracted from the current CV value. Any of the four CV outputs can be selected as the source of the velocity calculation. This full list of options is available for all 12 MIDI note outputs. Let's listen to some MIDI note velocity patches using more than one output.